Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover an example called Exploring a Castle that uses passage links, just exclusively, no other functionality. A castle stands before you. You glance at the pizza box in your hand and back up at the castle. Let's just give up. Delivering a pizza to a castle? No. Nope. You give up and walk back to your car. You have a story to tell your friends. No need to explain you gave up. The end. So we can go in the front door. A large front door marks the only clear way into the castle. You knock on the door and hear no answer. You wait. A few minutes later you try again. No response. You reach out to the door. Even for how large it seems, pushing it slightly shows that it is unlocked. Well, let's open the door. The door creaks as it opens into a large space leading off into hallways and set of stairs leading upwards. You look around. Well, uh, let's go to the second floor. Every few steps, the stairs groan slightly as you proceed up them. On the walls are two portraits of people who look slightly unhappy to you. You shrug and consider your options. Try the left door. Oh, well, it's locked. Well, let's turn around. Try the right door? There appears to be some type of marks on the door. Stains of some sort, probably. You check in. Yes. This door is also locked. Turn around. Go back downstairs. Let's try the left hallway. You see what looks like a dining room of some sort? There's a table and some chairs. Well, let's head into the kitchen. It's a kitchen! You see a note. Let's read the note. You see a sheet of paper. Picking it up, you start reading. It tells you to leave the pizza in the kitchen and walk out. A walk back out. Uh, let's do that. And we see another ending. You place the pizza next to the note and leave the castle. This is the strangest delivery you have ever done. The end. <clears throat> Coming back over to the story map view, we see the connection between all these different passages, generated by putting passage links within them. We'll notice here that multiple arrows point to where the destination is of the link in that passage. For example, in entryway, we see a link to ending A, which we looked at, delivering pizza to a castle, nope. We also see a link to front door. Front door also links back to entryway. In multiple cases here, we see the arrows leading back and forth. The ability to move between these as both locations and actions here using passage links. Passage links in Twine 2 especially work across all story formats. Here I've showed an example in Harlow. But if I close this, come down to the menu, change story format, change to snowman, close this, replay it, we see the functionality works exactly the same. Passage links, as shown here, work across all story formats in Twine 2. And we see the exact same thing. Closing this, coming back down, changing story format to Sugar Cube, relaunching this, we see the same functionality. Passage links, again, work across all story formats. And as seen in this example of exploring a castle, it is completely possible to create a in this case, somewhat simple, engaging story using only passage links. No need for any additional functionality, no need to think about CSS or JavaScript or even macro usage. Just thinking through actions and places in a story, for example, I had opened the door as an action, and I had front door as a place, left hallway as a location, as well as pointing to ending A and ending B, it is completely possible to create an engaging story using just passage links. And again, realizing that they are compatible across all story formats, and so story formats don't actually matter in that regard as it applies to passage links. This has been a free example that you can find and download, import into your own um, story list, and use it if you'd like. Thanks for watching.